it's one of them days and uh, just not not fine tuned as he wants to be as uh, those times happen to everybody No, I mean, he came out early and looked six pitch inning. And I mean, you could see that uh, he's getting some swing and misses on the breaking ball. And it's just going to be a location of everything. I mean, that's that's what this game's all about. I mean, I saw some pretty good velocity. I think I saw 92 at one time. And um, it looked like just from where the break on the breaking ball was, it was out in front of the plate like he likes it. And so um, there, were, there were things that we saw very positive. And, uh, uh, but they put together some, some good at bats as we went. Fifth inning with some hard hit balls, and then starts off the sixth. How short is the, his margin for error in that inning? Yeah, he still hasn't thrown many pitches, and you know we're, we got somebody up as soon as he went out, and so we knew that it was going to be a situation if we get around to that top of the order, especially that um, we were going to have to make something happen, which we did. How much does his, his past history of finding ways to get through innings and, and yeah. set things up during, or correct things during? Yeah, when he gets in big situations, he's always figured out a way uh, to make things happen and get out of them. <clears throat> Can't say always, but a high percentage of the time, um, he's got that sense like we've talked about many times where uh, a pitcher knows how to how to maximize a hitter's aggressiveness, and uh, he's very good in those situations. So we don't sweat it too much, but once we roll that line over one more time, um, realizing there's a chance for us to get out of it or we get down close with a pinch hitter, um, opportunity for Seth to get the ball down and get on the ground, hopefully a double play. Uh, that's something that we're definitely keeping our eye on. He's a, pretty much a perfectionist. He expects a lot of good things from him. What are you seeing from his reaction to these this set of starts? I'm not seeing anything from his reaction. I mean, he just, you know, it's not the first time where he's hes uh, not been exactly where he wants to be. Um, you know, Finds ways to keep us in the game. We're in the game, um, but it's just not what he wants to see. Like you said, he's a perfectionist, and uh, he demands a lot of himself, and um, and he'll he'll get it right. But right now, I know he uh, he's frustrated because he he expects a lot of himself. Mike, the offense continues to run on the board and give you a chance during the ninth inning. Yeah, the offense was good again. I mean, guys driving the ball, putting together big at bats. You know, taking the free base when they'll get it and um, you know, pushing it on the bases. I, I like everything we're doing offensively and just need to keep going. Yeah, yeah. this is this is the guy that I don't think many Cardinal fans got to see last year. And um, just to watch how the ball does come off his bat. And um, it was, it's on, he's on a nice little, uh, nice little run now. But this is the guy that we're starting to see. You watch him in batting practice. And, just the way he's going about his at bats, and he's got some, he's got some serious power. I mean, to be able to hit it out of this park in the spots that he's hitting it, um, not many guys can do that. Is that more than just health? Is it, is it where his swing is at? Is it I think it's all intermingled. I mean, when you're when you're healthy, you get yourself into a better rhythm. You feel good. You have confidence, and then that tends to allow you to to do what you can do. But uh, you know, last year was a different situation, and you know, he looks he looks good right now. Yeah, it's same you know same kind of conversation as as Wayno. We're going to have to, you know, he's going to have to make those pitches. He's always been that kind of pitcher, where he's going to have to make quality pitches all the time. He's going to he's going to need to be down so he can get his ground balls. He's going to have to uh, expand at times, be able to live on the corners and make uh, you know the secondary pitches and tough counts. And you know with the ball going in the air as much as it is, you can tell it's just coming up a little more than what he's looking for. Um, you know, just what we're what we're trying to do here, and what we have room to do, and uh, just you know, having a conversation that we normally have just between uh, the three of us is just nice having the interpreter to help it out a little. Yeah, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems like a pretty big step for oh, he could have gone to a lefty there, but to let him face Votto. And yeah, we like his stuff against lefties. I mean, uh, we're going to get more opportunities to see and. Uh, you know, especially when you have a, a right hander right behind him, you have the free base. We're going to pitch him tough. If not, we're going to have to go after Phillips. But Phillips has been swinging the bat well and has burned us a couple times, so we're not necessarily just going to give him a free pass. I thought he did a nice job. Uh, unfortunately, his pitch count was getting a lot higher than what I wanted it to be for going out that second at bat or that second inning. And, and Votto is uh, you know, the kind of hitter that's just going to foul off a lot of pitches like he did. 
and um, fortunately, Sung Won stayed with the, the program and, and did a real nice job of keeping us in that game. Does that get to a point now, now where he just walks him to face Phillips? If it would have been, if he'd have been in deficit uh, right off the top, but he he gets a, a he gets a one zero swing dirt and you're in the count now, and now he can ride it out. Good defense. You know, Jed stands out, is making some real nice plays today and you know, big at bats too with the two out RBI to right and then you get the walk late to bring bring uh you know that, that go ahead run to the plate. I mean that's that's a good day all the way around. Mike a nice battle between Bryson and Bruce there in the ninth but you left with a home line out. We see the pitch he had was it okay with the pitch? You know, I didn't get a great look at it. I know um Jonathan has, has had a little success against him in the past, and you know they know each other. They've they played together for a while, and um, like the way Broxton's throwing, he's going to continue to have big opportunities and big innings for us. All right.